Welcome to this NXP quick learning session on battery protection application. And my name is Dr. Dilda Chaudhry. I'm a product manager within the power MOSFET division in Manchester. And today we are talking about the battery protection application and how we can select the best power MOSFETs to suit this application because it need to do several functions, charging, discharging, and also protect against any adversity. So within this selection criteria for the power MOSFETs, as you can see in this application, here's a power battery protection IC. You have got the battery and you have got these two um, IC's common drain. You can see if you have used DC or if you can use discretes, you have got two power MOSFETs and channel power MOSFETs back to back. In selecting those power MOSFETs, you'll have to go for the breakdown voltage which is based on the charger and reverse charger voltage. Breakdown voltage must be higher than that one. And the gate source uh, voltage capability must be uh, more than the battery cell and the charger voltage because charger voltage can appear during uh, the turning on and off of the MOSFETs. RDS on is quite important for power efficiency consideration of the whole battery pack. And the IDC maximum it must be higher than the IC maximum current rating of the uh, controller IC that you'll be using. Short circuit current is very important because uh, there will be repeated short circuit event happening during this battery protection application. And thermal consideration we need to be very careful about for a very reliable system design. So that the R theta, the thermal impedance of the um, uh, the MOSFETs is quite important. An avalanche and safe operating area for good design, consider, uh, design margin we need to consider for the uh, good battery protection circuit. Thank you for listening to this uh, short uh, video and for more information please visit uh, nxp.com forward slash MOSFETs.